The ripple effects of what happened inside Robb Elementary in that tragedy last year are continuing to be felt outside of your valley. The shooting highlighting the importance of having blood on hand to save lives. That fact inspiring superintendents all across Bear County to roll up their sleeves. As Lee Waldman reports, one of the Robb survivors came to share her thanks for their donations. Just a gentle squeeze on your hand or grip once every five seconds. Okay. It's going to take about eight to ten minutes. Okay. The donor pavilion at the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center was packed with superintendents from 12 Bear County school districts, all wearing maroon. I clearly remember where I was the day that this happened and thinking that cannot be true. For Southwest ISD Superintendent Dr. Jeanette Ball, the tragedy at Robb Elementary in Uvalde last May hit all too close to home. I was a superintendent there for five years. As the one year mark approaches, Ball knows the grief hasn't diminished for the families who lost their loved ones. Ball and the other superintendents donating today were inspired by Maya Zamora, a survivor from Rob. If Maya's um, tragedy can help somebody else save a life and people come out, that's what we want to do. You know, at, at ugly as it sounds, this is something beautiful that, you know, people are giving life. Maya's life was saved in part by blood transfusions after being shot seven times. You can tell she's trying so hard to be okay. Um, it makes me think of all our students. Now her story is starting a chain reaction of giving. If we can, if our daughter can inspire, if our story can inspire, you know, someone to, to donate blood, that's that's something we're on board for. With roughly 20 people donating as a part of this local superintendent give pack, 60 lives will be impacted. All this inspired by one incredible little girl. At the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.